We got a 2013 Chevy Cruze. I'm doing a wheel hub on it. First thing you wanna do is jack the car up, take the tire off, if the tire is still on. In this case, I guess it, the tire was not on. So take the brake caliper assembly off. It'll be two 18 millimeter bolts on the back side. That'll go right there. One and then two. Take those off, just to slide off of the caliper. And then, uh, at that point you can really take this off take the rotor off and then you'll need a socket for the axle and i'm going to be using a oh, where's it at? size 34 it's got a little bit of spin to it so it's probably a 33 32 hopefully this catch if it don't i'll go be go on to it grab another one then we got three bolts on the back side 18 millimeter you got one there you got one there and then you got one on the other side. That. Boom. You get those three bolts out. Boom, that other one right there at the bottom. You get those three bolts out. You have to push this axle back. And then pry this out of the socket. I'll get back to you after I do that. Alright, so I got my three bolts out the back. One, two, three. For the top bolt, top bolt, you're gonna have to put an extension on there to get past that axle shaft. After you get those three out, it's nice and loose. You want to get this axle nut off so you can actually take this off. Axle nut is what's holding it on. Might be best to spray it down with a little bit of petroleum jelly so it'll ride smooth. But uh, they say don't use a impact on this. So I'm going to try a breaker bar. Last couple ones I used a breaker bar, it worked. Alright, so I was able to get it off with the 34. So I'm going to get the axle nut off. It's a good idea to leave that dust shield right there. And you won't forget to put that bitch back on, but it go like this. Make sure you put it on like this. Boom. Then you're going with the new one. So, All right, so you'll put the new hub on, slide it in, make sure you got your dust shield on there. And then I'll start off with one bolt, boom, and make sure it's all lined up. And then I go in with the other two. This is gonna be the longer ones, cause you know you still got the other two 18s that came out the caliper. Don't put those in, they're not long enough. I'm with the top one. Find a hole, get it through the dust shield. So when you do these, don't uh, tighten them all the way down at first. So tighten it, say halfway, halfway, then halfway, then do the other half, other half, other half. So then that way it'll flatten on, it'll go on flat. Uh, then put your axle nut back on. I didn't have to use the impact. I used the breaker bar, used the breaker bar to put it back on. And uh, they say use a new axle nut. This person is not using the new axle nut, but it is what it is. Then uh, after that, Get your new, new lugs, cause uh, the lugs that we got. Are, uh, so put your new lugs on there, and you should be good to go.